The scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride Trying to holler at me I don't want no scrub A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride Trying to holler at me Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today I'm here with a wig review featuring the Sensational Butter Lace Collection. And this is Butter Lace 6. I recently tried Butter Lace 10, like two weeks ago. It's a gorgeous curly unit. Definitely check out the review if you like big curly hair. I'll link it in my description box. And of course, anything that I mentioned will be linked in my description box. It's very organized and easy for you to sort through, possibly shop through links, things like that. So make sure you check that out. But yes, y'all, y'all saw the way I put this down and how easy it was. And honestly, <laughs> I... I love this unit. Let me just start with the specs. So the Butter Lace Collection is known for their virtually undetectable lace. I would say Butter Lace is like a spin-off from the Wet Lace Collection. Wet Lace has the 13 by 6 frontal, you know, supposed to be pre-plucked, things like that. Butter Lace doesn't have a frontal, right? But it's still supposed to give you that HD transparent type lace that'll blend with all skin tones. And it's supposed to, you know, have a flawless finish. The first two butter lace units I did not like at all, so I wrote it off for a while. But I decided to try them again after seeing them on other people this past year, and I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing. This unit here does come with your typical cap construction, your two combs in the front and a comb in the back. I think it's made to be a middle part wig, but as you can see, I shifted it to the side. And as far as the length, you know, it's not uneven at all. So you can shift it to the left or to the right and be good. I'm a right side part kind of girl. So that's why I have her over here. As far as the length, uh, I think it's fallen on me like a good at least 20 inches. Yeah, this is a layered unit too. So you'll see some of the top layers over here fall by the chin and then gradually they come down to the breast area. The parting space goes back really far. It goes back like five inches, I believe. And I don't know, like I like how flat it lays and I think that's probably partially due to the parting space. But something about it going back this far looks a little, I don't know. I think it's because it's not a curved part too. The straight parts for me on the side doesn't really do it for me anymore. So I think if this was more of a curved part, I don't think I would mind how far back it goes. But overall, y'all, let me just tell you why I love this unit. I love the density. Absolutely love it. For me, when it comes to straight wigs, I like a lighter density. 130% me, please. Like that's, that's my jam. If it was any thicker, I mean, I could still do it as long as it's layered. But the light density, I just think it looks so natural on me. When I think of my natural hair, if I ever straightened it out, and if it was this long, it would look just like this. Just like this. So I love it. I absolutely love it. I really like that this comes with layers. I like that I got it in the 1B color. 1B just be hitting on my chocolate skin. <laughs> I really, really like it. Another pro to this unit is the Yaki texture. It feels 
like you just came out the salon, y'all. But it's not like silky Barbie doll hair. Not at all. Like this is quality, quality synthetic fibers. And the luster looks good. Like it's, you see that? It's not too shiny at all. Texture means a lot to me. And of course, you know, I love kinky straight textures. That's my favorite. But if you aren't as into kinky straight, but you still want a little bit of yak in your hair, I think this is the perfect unit for you. This feels so nice. I honestly cannot stop running my fingers through my hair because of how it feels. Okay. I'm just like, is this synthetic? Synthetic where? Because it's moving and grooving like human hair. This is reminding me actually of the unit by My First Wig, Alexis. I've seen a few of my wig bays rock Alexis and this is giving me human hair dupe. Yes, absolutely. Come on. If you like straight units like this, let me know in the comments down below. I think the lace is another pro as well. I definitely noticed that once you, you know, tint it to your liking, the lace is going to blend very, very well. As far as cons, the only thing I would say is that it, I wish it was a little bit more pre-plucked. This over here is, is giving me round a little bit. I did pluck a little bit over here, so it might look kind of different, but not a deal breaker. I also think the price is solid. I bought this one for $42 off of Amazon. I also have another color to show you all, the hazelnut honey. I bought that off of wig types. Amazon is more expensive. It's probably like $10 more, but if you have Amazon Prime, there's shipping available. I do have the links in my description box, so you're welcome to shop for my affiliate links because y'all already know, when y'all shop for my links, you are directly supporting us at your hair, and that really means a lot to me. Uh, but yes, y'all, this... Uh, I have no complaints about the Lasix. Like, I cannot believe I waited this long to try it. You know who made me try it? I saw my boo body by Kira. I saw her video recently, like over a month ago. And one thing I love about Kira is that she'll do these lookbooks where she'll get a bunch of colors in one wig. And that's great for me because I like to see what these colors actually look like. So, she had this unit in like five colors. And when she put on that hazelnut honey, I said, Gladys, wake up. Go buy the unit <laughs> right now. So, Kara, if you're watching, the reason why I have this on my head is because of you. <laughs> it looks so good. Other than me wanting this to be a bit more pre-plugged, I have nothing bad to say about the unit, y'all. Just go get her. Like, she is fabulous. Oh, maybe this is longer than 20 inches because I see it's like touching my tailbone. Right, so maybe we're giving 24. Mind you, I'm 5'3", so it's going to fall longer on me. So I'm about to show you the hazelnut honey color, right? But I did do something different, okay? This is the hazelnut honey, and I actually added a fake scalp. You see that? Look at it. This is giving scalp, y'all. I recently came out with a video called Seven Easy Wig Hacks. If you haven't checked it out, it's a must-see video. I'm actually really proud of myself for the way that video came out. I think I did a really good job explaining what needs to be said. Sometimes I gotta pat myself on the back and be like, wow, Gladys, you're a damn good teacher. <laughs> because I was watching it over again like, oh, if I didn't know anything, I feel like I could learn a lot from this video. So please check it out. It'll be linked in my description box and I'll link it above in the cards. But yes, in that video, I talked about this hack that I found Thanks to the YouTuber Haley Marie. And Haley, if you're watching this video, I already talked to you, but get back on YouTube, okay? Because that video was so helpful for me. And another YouTuber, between those two videos that inspired me to do this hack where you basically create a fake scalp using got to be glue. I tried it and I'm receiving a lot of great feedback from y'all on that video and especially due to seeing that hack. Many of you hadn't seen it before and some of you actually was putting me on because some of you had tried it with other products. Like one of my subscribers said she tried it with Gorilla Snot Blue and her contour color. Another one of y'all said that you actually use um, a paint like from the craft store to do it. And I was like, whoa, put us all on, sis. I just love doing videos like that because I feel like everyone has a chance to kind of chime in and insert what they know and what they're knowledgeable about too, which is great because it's a community. We can all learn from each other. So I'm still practicing this little, you know, fake scalp 
pack and we're about to see how it looks on Butterlay 6 in the Money Piece Hazel color, okay? And then we'll do a little comparison. I'm excited. So if you're ready to see that, keep watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with Butterlay 6 in the Money Piece Hazel color. Y'all, okay. Even though I'm not a fan of the Money Piece blends by Sensational, the Money Piece Hazel color is, is one that cannot be messed with. Like, this is bomb. This looks so good straight. Oh my gosh. Huh. You know what's so funny? I, I was re-watching an old video of mine and I remember saying that I was like kind of tired of Honey Blondes and whatnot. And I was at the time. But this is making me fall back in love with Honey Blondes again. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. I just... This face ring right here is just done so nicely. There's no way I'd be doing this myself on a unit. Do you know how long it would take me to color a human hair unit like this? But meanwhile, Sensational's over here making it very easy for us to purchase these units for under $50 and be able to get these amazing color blends. I'm just... Ugh, ugh. I'm just so thankful. So we already know we're here for the color. We already know that I love the unit in general. Let's talk about this scalp, okay? Let me get a little closer for y'all. <laughs> this is not a zoom lens, so I definitely have to scoot up. <laughs> Look at that. Let's do a comparison shot. What do y'all think? I think this looks pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm going to play around with this hack this little fake scalp hack a lot more because I'm liking what I see. I'm really, really here for it. One thing I did differently from the first time I did the this fake scalp was I actually use this. I actually just got this. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte. You know I normally use the D90 to like tint my lace and whatnot. This is the D70 just because I wanted to try out their foundation. Like I was using this as a foundation shade. So I decided to use this with the Got To Be Glue this time and just to see how the part came out. And I actually really, oh, look at that, y'all. Yo, are y'all seeing any grips right now? <laughs> this is game changer. But yeah, as I was saying, I actually really like the color payoff using this. When I used my Juvia's Place loose powder in the last video, it just came off really orange. And even though it didn't look bad once I put the wig on, starting off, I did not want that orange payoff. So I definitely know that this color works as far as the parting space for me. I'm gonna play around with some other colors and just to see like what I get. And also another thing I did differently, I used the paste all the way towards the front, except for the front here, I used a thin layer of the paste because again, I was like, I really don't want a line of demarcation. And I think it looks pretty, pretty decent. I think it does. I could actually cut a V in this and it'll probably blend even more seamlessly, but I'm here for it. Let me know what y'all think about this, this wig scalp pack because I'm definitely sold on it. We all know that when we're wearing wigs, it's lace at the end of the day, it's not skin. But it's just fun to have a new trick up your sleeve and to play around with it. It's just really part of what makes me love wigs. The different things that you can try, the versatility. I I'm just so excited about it. So you're gonna see me doing this and showing this in a few more videos as I practice and get a little bit better at it. Maybe I won't use Got To Be Glue next time. Maybe I'll use the Gorilla Snot like one of my subscribers suggested or I don't know. Maybe I'll use paint like someone else said. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just fun. Which should be fun. Trying things out, trying things that are new without being scared. That's what I'm here for. I'll try it so that you don't have to or maybe I'll just encourage you to do it yourself too. But overall, y'all, I'm loving this unit. But LA 6, y'all should definitely cop this. If you need a straight unit, get this one. This might be like my new favorite straight unit. My old favorite straight unit was actually by Outre Volume Press. Y'all remember that wig? I adored that unit. But then it discontinued. I have another favorite also by Freedress Equal, Freedom Part 203. I love that one. But that came out like three years ago. I haven't had like a new favorite straight wig in a while. So this is, this is giving the girls what they need. You know, this unit also reminds me of Sensational What Lace Janelle. I've never tried that unit, but just the style, like the light layers. I think Janelle might be a little bit longer than this one, but 
Janelle looks like human hair, okay? And so does this. If you're looking for a nice straight unit, this is a great option. The color blend here is popping. Very much so on trend. I mean, I'm here for it. And if you've been hesitant about color, please use me as your inspiration. Consider this your sign to try a blonde unit, please. Because look at how this looks on my skin. This looks gorgeous. Ooh, also, I really like that I can wear this glueless. Like, I don't have no glue on right now. Y'all see that? This is glueless, honey. Yes. You can also shift her to the middle. I'm sure some of y'all want to see what she looks like in the middle. Yeah. She looks good. <laughs> I'm so hyped about this. All right, y'all. The sun is going down, so we got to go. If you made this far, you may as well consider tapping that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Quick reminder, I am going live on Amazon for the next month and a half, at least for every week. Normally on Thursdays, if it's not on Thursday, I will let you know. Please follow my Amazon storefront, it really helps me out. It will be linked down below. I really hope I see y'all at one of my live streams. I'm doing fashion, more wigs, things like that. And if you want to see my latest video here, check it out to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Try to hold it.